Hello everyone, this is Maria from mariascraftingcorner.com and I am super excited that you are here today. Either if you're joining me live or if you're watching the replay, I do hope you like the card we're making today. Um, and if you don't know, uh, by now I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so if you need a um, new catalog or the new coming catalogs, just let me know. Send me an email to maria at mariascraftingcorner.com and I will gladly send you one for free and kind of help you through the any processes you need. Just let me know. I'll be glad to be of assistance. So I want to let you guys know that I this card I'm making today, it's really, ex it's really funny because I saw it on um on pinterest and i've been trying to look for it like if it has a name or anything and i've seen just like a post so it may be up to us here today to name it properly it has like a w fold slash concertina fold i don't know you and I will decide later how can we call it, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, and also, just super quick, if you would like to, um, sorry, if you would like to go to my web, uh, to my website and look into the rewards and all the many many ways I have designed and created to just spoil you, go ahead. Just again, go to my website, check it out, go to the rewards and. Um, I would love to spoil you. Now, last, same as always, all the um, measurements and instructions and everything will be linked down below and in my website. So don't be concerned about it. There's not a whole lot of measurements, but um, yeah, just pay attention to how the card is being made and then we will definitely you will definitely have access to it i do want to say a little disclaimer it won't be out there maybe a couple of hours after i am done with the video um i just have to be honest uh, there's a part of parts of it that i am not done um typing and so you'll have to give me some grace there in the end it's just me <laughs> doing everything <laughs> and so sometimes it gets a little overwhelming um to just keep it all up but i will have it definitely posted for you guys either today or tomorrow in the morning okay so let's head out to the crafting table and i just want to show you guys this is our celebration catalog and we are going to be working today with products from this catalog i just want to show you guys some of the um stuff that it's in it uh i didn't do an unboxing of my goodies and everything um i i saw there were a few and i'm just thinking there's far too many of it <laughs> so i don't want to add to that but we will be working today in some event just to let you just to show you guys what we have and this is the mini catalog the mini catalog will run from july till december 2022 and the celebration is from july 1st to august 31st 2022 so um these are coming just like right right around the corner and so really uh, tons of very very beautiful things are in here i'm going to show you this card just because um i want to show you our host this is our host stamp set and i i just colored this one and i think it's the cutest thing ever so again if you are interested in uh, hosting a, a party even if it's a zoom party we can figure out and get creative so uh this stamp set's absolutely worth it it's gorgeous and um these are all color with uh, stamping up blenders and i just use uh blending brushes to create the background okay anyways just wanted to show you that real quick and if you're here just stop by and say hello i would love to know where you are from and um how are you doing today okay so we are going to start with three pieces we have 
three pieces from really I, I forget always forget its name rich raspberry woohoo I remember and we are going to be using the wonderful world this is a, this is the um, stamp set that comes from uh, the celebration one of the stamp sets from celebration and we're going to be using some of the paper but I wanted to show you real quick how beautiful this paper is and if you as you can tell I just keep them in one of those big scrapbooking uh, folders so that way I know exactly what they are and if I have tiny pieces I just put everything in there and then I don't get lost but look at this gorgeous paper I love flowers so it's totally totally up my alley um, it has some smaller flowers look at that isn't that beautiful and then I love this one although it kind of reminds me of um, like wallpaper <laughs> but I do love it and so and this is the other one so many beautiful combination of colors and really really worth it so for this is the one that for a hundred dollars you will get the paper and the stamp set for free so if you spend a hundred dollars you will get them for free and we are going to use it today with another um here it is with another of the paper from the celebration and it's just i don't know if you can tell this is silver and gold so we have silver and gold lines and silver and gold dots very i i love this kind of paper because it's really really useful right there you go there's the silver one so you can really work with christmas projects you can work with any project um i love anything that is it's a little bit colorful but it's it's not too what would be the right word too crazy <laughs> too much of it because then you really can work with it um with other things and just to it's just it can be that that paper that kind of brings and tones down a very colorful paper so let's go and let's get started so again we're going to be doing this concertina w fold i don't know how to call it i think it's going to be cute so let's cross our fingers and same as always uh, oh i want to mention that i will be using happiness abounds for the sentiments i don't know if you noticed but the other uh here it is it's called wonderful world that stamp set does not have any sentiments in it so it kind of oops i have to figure out something to look for it right so Again, if you're watching, just stop by, say hello. Hi. Okay, so let's get started. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. We have, let me see, which is the biggest piece. This piece is five inches by five, nine inches by five and a half. Rich Rasselberry. We have another one that is uh, the regular five and a half by eight and a half. And this little piece is one and a half I want to say one and an eighth by by 12 let me see I know it's a 12 so I think it's it's two and one eighth uh, but again I'll have all those I have to adjust this so that's why it probably is um, I can't recall very well but uh, I do have those measurements written down already. So these are the three pieces that we're going to build upon. So let's start with the biggest piece. Biggest piece, we're going to just score at four and a quarter. So just place it at four and a quarter on your, on your longer side. We'll place it at four and a quarter. We'll score, always do a good score. I just find out that sometimes I don't do that very well <laughs> and it ends up being um, kind of flimsy so just in case it's a good idea to do a good good score and then at four and three quarters and if you see me looking I am looking at my <laughs> my cheat sheet you guys know that I always have it Oops. okay and now we are going to 
Okay, let me. I just made a mistake, so I am sorry about that. This is the biggest piece, the Maria. So let's go ahead and sc and score at four and three quarters, and I mean four and a quarter and four and three quarters. I'm sorry about that. I got a little distracted. And as you can tell, this is the middle. We are going to fold that real quick and use our bone folder. As always, when you're doing fan folds, it's important to use your folder to just burnish those, those folds well. So all we're creating is a little, kind of looks like a book, right? And it will have the same measurement. So this will be a four and uh, four and a quarter by five and a half regular card. Okay, so let's go back with this one and I hope I can fix it. I, th I think it will be okay. We are going to score at four and I'll tell you why it's going to be okay. It's partially is we're going to cut some of it um, this way and it's going to be also covered. So I think we're saved and we don't need another piece. So we're going to score at four and then at four and a half. So we'll move to four and a half. Okay, and we are going to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a really good fold because we're gonna have now some issues because we did that wrong in the first place. So this is the four, and this is the four and a half. Okay, and so what we're creating is basically a another little book that's gonna go inside, although it's not exactly how it's gonna look, but that's that's how it looks for now. Now, finally, I'm gonna score this one, and that's just to get this going, right? And we are going to score at in increments of two. So, we're gonna score at two, four, Six. Let me open our wonderful arm. We're going to score at eight. And finally at ten. So what we're going to end up is with six panels. So just so you're aware, I mean, really, I, I looked for these everywhere. It was so funny because they're there was this picture in Pinterest, right? And somebody said, oh, that's a beautiful fold. And I was thinking, yeah, that's beautiful. And it has beautiful paper. And I was like, oh, I love it. And somebody said, well, hopefully somebody makes a tutorial about this for, you know, because I really like it. And I was thinking, hmm, ding, 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 kind of challenge, right? I'm like, oh, I have to figure out. And it didn't seem too complicated. And really, it is not complicated. So now this is going to be our accordion fold okay so let's stop start working on this i'm going to put all our stuff in there this is our biggest piece and i'm making sure of that now and we need to decorate the front first because um otherwise it gets a little convoluted now i do have most of the stuff already pre-cut so it, you know it's not too long or i try so <laughs> not to make it crazy long because i always do it long longer than I expected. So we are going to, this is part of that paper that I showed you. We're going to use these, uh -oh. I'm just kidding. We're going to, we have a white mat that is just an eighth smaller. So that means that it is four and three eighths by five and no, four and one eight by five and three eighths. Sorry, I'm just trying to do that from memory and I guess my memory is not working very well. And this one is just another eighth smaller. And I am using our um, contour. I love these dies. I, I absolutely love it. And I think that they are so gorgeous to put in the fronts of the car, to put inside the car, they're just perfect. And this is the big piece and I didn't show you that one. I'm going to show you the the one I already have. So it brings, the paper brings huge pieces of um, flowers and I cut several of them. And as you can tell, this one is, I really like this one. And so I'm going to use this one up here 
and then or maybe like so and we're going to put the the um the stamping here so we're going to first of all i am going to add these good news people new stamping seal plus so <laughs> it won't slow us down through through our um, video as it has in the past because of course they had to go down let's see we're going to do these matting sometimes i'm slower sometimes i'm faster um okay this is not working for me today we made it peeps we made it peeps and we are going to use this one that says friend and that's why I really like this. And we are going to use the mossy, uh, mossy meadow as just as anything in Stamping Up. This uh, paper has, you know, specific colors that it matches. Mossy meadow is one of them. So let's get going. So we're going to go friend. And I have to put my big fat head in front because the glare it's killing me, so I can't really see unless I am like on top of it. So I'm sorry for that. But there you go. Sorry, sorry. And we are going to put our thing here. Let me move these so there's no drama because I always get dramatic when it comes to make mistakes with inks out there. So this is, it's very, very simple. It's going to go like so, and I'm going to put it like that. I want it a little bit off, which is why I use these simpler um, cardstock. So one thing I do want to do, which I didn't do in the ones I will show you later. I, I did make two more examples of them. And, um, you know, I just I just tried them just to try just to try to see how it's going to work. So. I am going to use a little bit of, uh, and this is, I always forget its name, super useful white. <laughs> it's called Crinkle Seam Binding Ribbon. I, I really love it. It's I really love it because you can color it. And actually that's what I did for other parts of the card. But I am just going to glue a little bit of this. And I think, no, I'm going to leave it long glue this a little bit of these in here before adding that just because um i think it needs something to tie it. so the previous ones and you'll see the cards i made before um they don't close as well i guess i'm make, i'm saying that wrong they close they just don't stay close and so i think because there's a little bit thickness on it it just needs something to uh, to be tied you can absolutely do something else like a um, like uh, maybe a belly band something different that could be up to you completely so let's go ahead and we're going to put our friend in here it it has a very very simple front um, we're leaving most of the awesomeness for the inside no matter what, I do love this paper. And if you are watching, let me know where you are from. I would love to chat-ish with you. <laughs> as long as I can chat with you guys, but I would love to. And I am thinking, so I, I have this set up. This is also from the new catalog. It's called Perch in a Tree. And it brings these little dots. And I keep thinking that I want to add maybe a few out and I'm going to use a combination of and I always put them in here just to make sure it's all good combination of maybe these muddy meadow mossy meadow muddy meadow <laughs> okay I'm gonna leave it like that and if you're hearing that that's my big dog who's barking so that happens and we are just going to put this one in here yeah i like it i like uh, that's one of the things i like about those um and i'm going to bring my glue about those 
how would you call it dotted spotted spots uh, I love that because they they allow you to create some some interest in a very simple in a very simple way and I'm going to use it like this okay and we can't put this right now actually because we do need definitely to have that set up before we go with the rest of the card like I mentioned to get some thickness to it so it will be very hard to do it later okay so make sure making sure that this is the front the actual front and we're not gluing it the wrong way that would be tremendously bad okay this is our card again very simple front but i do like it it's quite i think it's quite elegant on its own right so let's see let's get going give me a minute okay now here is the little bit more challenging part but it's not that bad i promise so let me bring this back up. This piece is, let's, so we clarify it right here, right now. It's two and a quarter. So this is two and a quarter. And what we are going to do is we are going to put our front. Does it matter? No. We're going to put these at two and a quarter, at the two and a quarter mark. And we are going to get a pen. And use our wonderful I love I love these trimmer it allows you so many uh, it just allows you to do a lot of stuff with it just because it has that um, clear view right and so we have two and what we did we and I don't know if you can see it we did mark a two and a quarter on each side maybe it's not too clear to see and what we're going to do now it's from this score line we're going to cut all the way to that little pencil butt okay and I, let me see i hope you can see well it's harder to see so we're going to align just making sure i have the right one since i made a mistake at the very beginning hello maria but what would you do if we were not human huh okay so I think I got it, but definitely now it's a good moment to put it in here and then you can see that you still need to move it. Definitely these trimmer is one of the best tools you'll get uh, from Stampin' Up. I just love it. And now we're going to cut from one to the other, okay? So now we have one and we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. So we're going to get that dot in the clear view. We'll put it there. We're going to add go ahead and align to that and because I made that mistake I have to make really sure that this is the right one right so um, hopefully you don't make that mistake and so it will be easier for you <laughs> oh Jesus anyways let's see where's our pencil mark our pencil mark is right there our there you go I think I got them and go ahead and cut I'm not going to use those anymore, but you can probably save them if you're interested. Okay, so now we have this beautiful, how would you call it? Little house. It almost looks like a house. And we are going to decorate this right away. And that's where I am going to be using these. I'm going to be using these. And this is from that. Um, oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Confused there. This is the one that we're going to be using for here because I love the fact that it will um kind of tone down this paper which is the one that goes in the back okay so we are going to do exactly the same thing so that was scored at uh, or marked at two and a quarter so we're going to do two so it has a little bit of a um So it's just a little bit smaller and I'm thinking now do we want to do that since this is already small I think I'm going to cut it at the two and a quarter and we are going to do that little mark because we are going to cut it just the same so now it is from this edge from this point to 
that here. There's the dot, there's the edge. Now, a tip, if you're going to do be cutting like this and you have a piece of paper that has a point, do not cut from there. Paper tends to be really unhappy when you do that. Cut from the other side where is this, the whole edge. So we're going to cut there. And we are going to do the exact same thing on the other little piece. Now, we have to be mindful about one thing. And that thing is, if it's where we're cutting, right? We need to be mindful that we cut in here, so that we make the mark in here. So I'm going to be putting it this, because if we're not mindful of that, we may end up cutting this way, and then that will not work, okay? Because then this will be the front of it. So I'm going to check again, so I'm absolutely sure I'm doing it right. So this is the side where I need to put my two. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way. And put it there. And I'm gonna make the mark, but I'm gonna still make sure that it is right. Okay, so this is the mark and this is where I cut. Okay, so it's okay, I cut from here to there. So we got it right. And now we're going to do the exact same thing, align these in our trimmer using that clear view. And we'll cut. Okay. Again, those are pieces that you can save for later. Let's get going. Okay, now we have these two pieces. We are going to glue them much easier just because there's several spots in it okay and we are going to glue this in here making sure we leave a little bit of a um I'm just making sure I have the right, you know, a little bit of of, uh, of an inch, it's about an eighth of an inch there. And it seems like I need to cut these, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it real quick. Just align it super quick. That's one of the reasons why we love this. Um definitely love this trimmer and the blades it brings look at that it's a smidge of a smidge isn't it crazy how good it is i had a little piece in there oh there it is and now we're going to do the next one and here it is and i'm just making sure we're not going to have the same issue it doesn't seem like we're going to okay some glue again Okay, and we'll attach this panel here in a second. And we're gonna create a couple of pockets with this panel. Um, there we go, that one was much better. I guess I didn't cut this one well. So back to our base, we are going to do two things. So here is that beautiful, beautiful, designer series paper i absolutely love it i am going to map them just like a regular card they but all dimensions again and measurements will be out there and they will be in in our free pdf tutorial i'm just going to do this real quick hopefully i have better luck than i did with the other one you know what i think that is because it's white i have a hard time seeing it well i'm starting to think that that's why it is you know i'm like I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing. <laughs> okay. So the same as always. And I know I have these pieces already cut. But when you are cutting, do remember to have these, um, to be mindful of the orientation of the paper. Okay. So we're going to glue this here. And I am, or not glue, we're going to use the Stamping Seal Plus. and making sure so this is this is the top right so i know that this is okay here and we're going to make it as centered as possible 
and that's good and before we attach this panel we are going to do the same we did with the other one so we are going to attach another piece of ribbon so we can actually tie this later on and this is again be mindful of the orientation of the paper of course at this point in time it's a little bit easier because we do have this other one to help us okay and now this is how it's going to look now this is going to come here like so and it looks so cute i absolutely love it and what we're going to do is we're going to put some glue in this area but not in here so this is going to work as our pockets and I am going to use glue and I am I'm going to use the glue in here as well so a little bit of glue in the middle that that needs to be tied up or attached yes and now we attach these to our panel here. We're going to leave, leave it a couple more minutes to dry, but this is how it looks, okay? Isn't this so adorable? So while this dries, because Maria forgets that definitely glue does not, <laughs> it just simply needs time. I keep forgetting that. I'm not sure why. Um, we are going to work on our piano, on our concertina W fold part. And I do have all all sorts of pieces in here, as you can tell. I have a few of, of each, just white, just something. I have a combination. I have cut a few more of those gorgeous flowers that we got in our um in our paper. And we're going to kind of create this. So I do want a couple of things. I want one of these. These are, I think it's two, no, one and seven eighths by two. Um, but they, they look very, what will be the word, very squared. So make sure that you're putting it in the right place because pretty much it, it is hard. So I do want to put one of my sentiments in here and this one is from again from the um happiness abounds and it just says you're wonderful in everywhere in every way and i have loved that sentiment and used it several times um and as you can tell it's a little short so i am going to just do it like so okay Okay, the other thing, and so this is going to go like here, like so, just simple. I was thinking that I can cut about an inch, about a half, about an eighth of an inch, an inch, and just mat it on these just to create some color. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's bring this real quick. We'll cut an inch. In, uh, I keep saying an inch. Hello, Maria. An eighth of an inch. And when you have those measurements, you can just use this part of the trimmer. It's super useful. Okay. And oh look, that's a perfect flower, huh? <laughs> and we are just going to mat. This one has a direction as well, so be mindful. I cut the wrong one. People, why don't you just let me know? I am glad I have several pieces because like I said, I do have... I just had several ideas of how I want to decorate it. We're going to decorate this one. I mean, we're going to cut this one, that eighth. It was not backwards. Oh, Maria, Maria. And I'm going to cut, and I know this sounds a little crazy. I'm going to cut about there, about a little bit there. And I'm going to cut a smidge from this. So I'm not, so I cut a little bit of, I would say, 16th on each side so it's really that one's stuck in there okay come on so it's really um more the size we want and there you go and i really like that and i am going to put it on this side so when you open it you kind of read it more i think 
I think it's more within reading view that way. Again, making sure that this paper is on the right direction. And we're just going to glue this real quick and go ahead and put this one. I really like this color combination. This one in here is super cute. I think that it's just gorgeous how they, whoever designed that paper, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So we have, so I have one of these and I am I'm thinking I want this one in the back here. And we're just gonna kind of do mix and match. And that's one of the reasons why I love that we got this uh, white paper. Like I was saying, like it helps to tone down some of that. And it works really well to put some of these flowers. Although I know they're much bigger than the actual, you know, little square. I think I want this one. But we can just cut them, you know, and work with that. And uh, let's see, I think I want this here. It needs to be cut a little bit more. So we are going to cut this a little bit more. And hopefully that does the trick and it does. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to put just some glue in here. And again, if you're watching, thank you for watching and I appreciate it. Just let me know, say hi. I love chatting with you guys. Okay, so we have the first flower. We have our sentiment. We have four more panels to go. I keep thinking I want this one here. Maybe another sentiment that will go there. Yeah. Maybe like that. I really like that. So we are going to go, actually, because we I'm not going to be able to map because hello Maria I made a mistake although I have pieces here I have one of these pieces we can absolutely cut this so this one is at two no that had to be uh, remember what I told you and you need to be mindful of the direction of the paper so there's that white piece we're going to cut there at one and seven eighths to two And here's the two. It is a real, real set moment when you turn that this beautiful designer series paper and see the other signs like, oh God, am I really going to do this? But yeah, we do. And that's why you get several um, sheets of the same of the same paper, right? So you don't suffer too much when you have to do these things. So this one is cut. We're going to cut this one. I'm going to the other sentiment and this sentiment is the one that says wishing you all the happiness you can imagine and this is just an upbeat little card to just for a friend or some you know okay that one is good i always try them i can't help it and we're going to do the same thing um we're going to do it like this because as you can see it's going to be a little tight in there so i'm just going to put it there and as you can tell i've used this the stamp a lot <laughs> <laughs> I really, really like it. Okay, taking away what I tend to call disaster because I don't know you guys, but whenever I have, and I'm going to cut here a whole seventh and a whole eighth. I don't know why I can't say this correctly. And this one, a whole eighth as well. And there we go. Thank you for being here again and hang out with me and we are going to oops let's put this one in here and there we go and this one will go always in the middle so i i i like patterns i guess it's one of the things uh -oh. 
is what I will I have to say I just like patterns and they work very well for me and so I want to make sure that they kind of you kind of follow that pattern now this is yours to decorate however you want um, wait until you see the other two cards I made they I have to say they're very very cute so we are going to put this one here and I am thinking I really like either the, I know these are huge right but you can cut two of them and put some of them maybe that's too big i'm going to use this one instead because although we will have to cut i think we'll have a little bit more of ability here and so i am going to put glue let me see how i want this i want this friend there and I think I want this one too. So I want the both flowers. Hey, Sus, how are you? I was wondering where you were. I missed you. <laughs> How's it going? Okay, I am just adding the glue here, making sure we have a lot of glue. And we're just going to cut around this way. Okay, I'm just going to cut around. And last cut. And there we go. Okay, whew. But now we have, we almost created our own designer series paper, right? Doesn't this look gorgeous? So we're going to put that one there. And I'm looking at the time. I'm trying not to be too extend too much. I know it, I always talk too much. Talk too much, Maria. Can't help it. And we have these two other ones. And I am just wondering what can we do in here? So I want to put this one in maybe, you know, add some of these like darker color ones. Yeah, I like that one. And we'll do the exact same thing we did with the previous one. We'll just cut around it. I'm going to move this enough so this one is center dish, but we know for sure that that one is going to look all together. And then we'll, ah, Maria, Maria. Okay, there it goes, there it goes. Oh, so you just been silent. <laughs> so what do you think so far? Are you liking it? Okay, we are going to cut this. And it has a tiny little bit. And I have to say, people, I'm being extremely brave today because I rarely ever use the scissors. I just can't use them somehow. It's just not a good fit for me. And we have one, another one, and I keep going to that, but I think I like this one too. And we're going to create some movement though, maybe like this, I think so. Okay, putting a little bit of glue and a little bit more in here, holding it so it does not move a whole lot, and then we'll just cut the leftovers. And that's it. So let's go ahead and cut. Yeah, I decided Suze, to use a lot of. Um, new products i try not to do that but i got too excited so what can you do huh okay let's see uh oh i have a rebellious piece now we have another little piece in here and like i said it's like creating your own designer series paper and i love it 
Okay, so that is, let me move all the other stuff away. So now we're going to have this and we'll bring this up here and we are going to align it with the, with that triangle, the house, I'm going to call it the house, I can't help it, it's just what it looks to me and we're going to align it to it and we're going to glue it there. And I am going to use for this, have another piece. I'm going to use for this tear and tape. I really, really trust tear and tape. And um, as you can tell, it's going to have some movement when you open and close the, um, the, the card. It's just too much of it. So I'm just going to use tear and tape. Okay. And I'm going to put both sides, but we are going to do just one side first and then the other. Okay. Oh, you know what? That's a good one. Yes, because it would have a space here for a like gift card or whatnot. I'm hoping that stays. That's why I don't trust glue sometimes. It's not wanting to stay. Let's put a little bit more of glue here. And hopefully that helps. I have a fun, okay, let me use a block here so it holds on for a second and we are going to bring this even with the block and we're going to do this one first um so i am going to i'm going to tell you the other ones I have, I use, uh, one I use uh, a retired product already, but I really love that designer serious paper and I have a few of them still. So I think that, you know, I'm like, oh no, no, this is a must have, I have to use it. So we're going to glue that one. And once that's glue, it's easier to just pull and glue this. And so we're just going to turn that over and figure out where to put all my Thank you, Sus. I'm glad you like it. Isn't it cute? Again, I, I saw it on Pinterest and I'm like, oh, how cute. And everybody's like, oh, who's going to make the template? And I'm like, I am because it doesn't, it really does not look super complicated, I have to say. So that's the card. And of course, because it has that, I have created these little tags with my tailor-made tags i'm addicted to them at this point in time as you can tell and so you can write some you know in here and in here and these are just for decoration and i use the same oh, oh, i forget i always forget its name the crinkle seam binding ribbon and just use um in that case i use the blackberry bliss to color the uh, ribbon so it it matches right now hopefully we have enough for um all of them but we're just going to do some tags in here i'm just being stingy here because i did not color the whole lot of it <laughs> so You're going to put some of them here. And just got this. Okay, so we have the first one. I don't think we're going to have enough. So that kind of sucks. That's fine. You can't imagine the rest. <laughs> And I'm going to end up at least one place. So one side is what I'm trying to say. Sometimes I forget how to talk. Like I think, oh yeah, that's what I need to say. And I'm like, no, nah, that does not make sense, Maria. And you guys know I'm like a little finger unavailable. <laughs> yeah, I, I should like definitely go back to kindergarten and learn how to tie knots and learn how to use scissors. It's just a thing. It's a funny thing, but a thing. No matter, nonetheless, a thing. Okay, so 
we have two. Let's see if I could have been smaller. And okay, so we so again now you have and and you can put this is giving me a heart attack. Come on, glue. You're supposed to be the best glue in the market. So work with me here. Um, I'm holding. Would we be able? No, let's not be stingy. So again, you can put a gift card here. I have one gift card, like a trying gift card. And so it will fit perfectly in there. Um, and you can have some of those. <laughs> I don't know if you guys knew this, but I had lost this Happy Easter back in March or whenever I was working with my Easter cards. And then it found, I found it. It was, it was like, uh, hello. Anyways. So things pop, pop back again. And I used the fern embossing folder, the 3D fern embossing folder to emboss these uh cardstock just to give it a little bit of interest um and i i really i really like embossing dry embossing is one of those things that i love and i keep forgetting to use them and i have a few of them and i'm like how, how dumb is that right okay so we have this one and this one that goes there and i just don't want to make the video much longer um but this is the card so it closed and now you can tie a bow those of you who can you can tie a bow and i made this in white so it makes some um, contrast just because they're so um did i mention i don't know how to tie bows so anyways you can guys figure this out the last thing that i am going to use because we all know i love them um is the iridescent rhinestones basic yules um these are in our new catalog and i absolutely love love these jewels they had me at iridescent i think it's one of those things i can't help it and in here we can add a few too right just for fun um i'm gonna add one up here and they have bigger ones and that's so interesting to me they're usually a little smaller but these are like making a statement so and that's our card what do you guys think do you like it okay i'm gonna tie this so guys don't laugh i appreciate if you don't just so we get the full blown oh i know what i'm gonna do maria maria idea Okay, forget it. Don't laugh, Sus, don't laugh. But anyways, you tie it, and it will be wonderful. And then you open it, and you have this. And I think it's just so gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And again, you can put gift cards in here. Let me show you the other two I use. So the first one I made was this one. Super happy and springy. This one is using the petal collection i forget their their name now um and this is a new stamp set in a new catalog and it's called um sending smiles but that's the card and i really like this one and so as you can tell it looks really cute with it so when i made this was the first one i made right this was my prototype if you want to sound you know um and I thought, oh, maybe if we make this a little smaller, because it was kind of not closing well for some reason, it will work well. Well, I did the next one with that in mind. Oh, and now let me put it this way. Now you see what I mean, that it, it does not like close, close. It makes sense, right? Of course, it has this accordion part in. So that's why it definitely it needs the, to be tied up. So once you tie it up, it will be perfect. Um to send so it's like a little book animated book if you want so there's not card number two and this one is using our new oh i forgot the name of it gnome sweet 
kind of snow sweet i think it is i absolutely love these guys they are so adorable um this one was colored this is a piece of cardstock and i just uh, kind of freckle a little bit of it even the house i colored a tiny bit a tiny little piece so it kind of popped a little bit and then um this is how it looks my tags are all down there but this is so cute and that's what i'm saying i think that the other one is looks better because if you see here for some there is like i have been trying to to do this so we have to go back to, to the actual half uh, inch this this was a little bit smaller but this one it's the exact size so look at that isn't that cute aren't these so cute so these are die cuts from the paper um and i just think these are lovely i can't help it i love them and so these are and look at these can you tell these are from a new embossing folder in our mini catalog and it has like little mountains in snow and i think it's so cute anyways those are the cards that i made of course this i mean really not noticeable but definitely have to follow the half inch what do you guys think please leave me a comment and let me know which one you like the best um let me bring this again this is from this is retired series the retired designer series paper but this is a new um a new stamp set i love these isn't this cute i love them and then we have this is the one we did today which I, I absolutely recommend you put the ribbon on it so it closes better. And this is the one with the gnomes that ah, I love. It's so colorful. I love this one. And this is, it's more of a Christmas card, but I like this one. This, your kindness does not go unnoticed. I love that one. And look, it, you know me so well. Oh my God, it's so cute. I love, love that. I'm glad you like them. So these are the cards today. I hope you enjoy them. Again, this paper, this paper, and this paper are all uh, coming in our celebration. And these are going to be for, for free. Um, this, this will be part of the 50. So if you buy $50, this would be for free. And this one plus the stamp set, if you buy for $100, you will get them for free. So I am so glad that you like them. I really and I really enjoyed them. Again, it was it was quite a challenge to design a little bit at first, but as you can tell, it's not a complicated setting and it's just so fun because of course you'll be able to stand them and it'll be like right there. <laughs> and I love that too. I love that you can put them standing up. I don't know, but you know what I mean. Anyways. Again, if uh, you're interested in a catalog, I am very happy to send you one if you don't have a demonstrator. And if you, okay, let me move. Let me do this. Let me, let's not talk to the hands, right? <laughs> it's, it, I'm, I'm here, I'm here. Uh, and if you would be interested, uh, I have a very, very generous reward system. So do go visit my, um, my website maria mariascraftingcoordinate.com or send me an email and i'll be glad to just uh you know help you and kind of go with you about anything and everything stamping up i am glad you like them Suze. hey i'm i'm getting better with my time so i'm really excited that it's not too crazy long this <laughs> this last video um let's see don't forget to give it a thumbs up i appreciate if you do you know how much it helps us here on youtube and if you like the video and the content of the channel in general do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you receive notifications of when um i'm going live or i'm uploading videos 
Thank you. Thank you so much for being here, Suze. It was wonderful to chat with you. Um, I appreciate you being here. You'll have to send me your email one day and I'll send you a cute card just for being such a trooper. <laughs> I do appreciate you being here. And um, have a wonderful and blessed evening. I hope you guys have a great day and talk to you next, next Tuesday. <laughs> Thank you very much.